we talked right before the Baylor game. Like it was really weird. Like you we had, that? yo, okay. me and my dad had a, a really good conversation. It was just like it was random. Like, like I don't know if it was like bound to happen or it was like he was just like I'm proud of you. We yeah. were playing at Baylor, so it was already a rough because we we lost. So we're coming back and like you you can't have your phone, but somehow like my coaches. My mom kept calling them, so she called them about like five times, and they they finally like got me because we were getting off the plane. I was in the bathroom, um, and my coach came up to me like, "You need to call your mom ASAP, Coach Shaven," and I'm just like, "For what? Like, yeah. I'll talk to her when I get home." Yeah. Like she she calls me all the time. It could be about nothing okay. sometimes. Right. So I'm just like, "Okay, maybe it's nothing." No, she was like, "No, it's serious. Like you really need to call your mom." Okay. So then I called her, and she was crying. I'm like, "Okay, what's wrong?" And I'm thinking it was my brother because he went through his episode. So I'm yeah. just like. Okay, what happened? Um, then he was like, no, your dad had a stroke. And from then, like, everything just, like, like got stuck. Like, I was in a um, daze for a while. Um, I wanted to go home that night, but it was really, really late. We got home at, like, 11 o'clock at night. So it was pretty late, so I'll, that's what happened. And then I left that the next morning. Like, we had a hoop in our uh, driveway, so, like, we've always, we always went outside just to play. And even if it was below 10, like, with snow on the ground, we we'll always just, <laughs> we'll always go outside and play. And he's always been that rock, and he's always been that one to tell us, like, you can, if you believe anything, you can do anything. And, like, he's always just told us, we always had a ball in our hand to start with. So, okay. he always taught me to shoot and never give up. And for me, like, having two brothers, they always try to pick on me, and they always try to beat me. And he's just like... No matter what, you can do what they can do if you just like keep striving. Like I didn't think it was that serious. Like a um, couple years before, my grandma had a stroke, and like she was fine the next day. Like even that day, she was still talking and whatnot. So I'm just like, okay, he had a stroke. He's in the hospital, but no, she was like, he's serious. Like he has to have immediate surgery. And from then on, I knew like, okay, it's really serious. Like he might not make it through the night. He's starting like he's starting to like get his memory back. He's talking. He talks really well. Like I call him every once in a while. Um, he's he's getting his arm back and he's starting to be able to like get his leg feeling his leg back again. It's still it's still for my dad and my brother. Like and our goal is for him to get to the first game. So like he's been working and I've been working, like striving just to um, see him there.